Hello students, I welcome you all to class 9th. Hope you are all very safe at home. Please make use of these classes. I will be teaching you all geography. Unit 1, our world. Chapter 1, Earth as a planet. In this chapter, we will be learning about the shape of the Earth and various experiments and observation associated with it. We are also going to know why is Earth known as the home of humankind and the conditions favoring life on it. But before that, there are certain basic things we are supposed to know. That there are eight planets revolved around the sun. This is known as heliocentrism. Helio means sun, centrism means centrally located. So the sun occupies the central position in the solar system. Earth is only a planet having life on it. The chief members of the solar system like planets, satellites and other celestial bodies like asteroids, meteorites, comets. There are eight planets in the order of importance like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The position of the Earth is third in the order of importance. Shape of the Earth. The Earth bulges slightly at the center and flat at the poles. Hence, the Earth is spherical in shape. To prove this, there were various observations and experiments being made, like Bedford level experiment. This experiment was carried out along 6 mile long old Bedford River Canal in United Kingdom to measure the curvature of the Earth. This is the Bedford level canal. The surface of the water looks flat. There are three poles installed at an equal interval of five kilometers. And on observing from one end, the central pole looked projected. So this happens only when the surface has a curvature. So this also proves that the earth is not flat but spherical in shape. Observation. The center pole looks projected as the earth is not flat but curvature. The next observation is sighting of ship. See an approaching ship being watched from the shore. See the ship is partially seen. Why? Because it is appearing down at the curvature. But as it approaches towards the shore or the coast, it is fully seen. So this happens only when there is a curvature. Number one, only mast of the ship seen, the funnel of the ship seen and finally the hull of the ship seen. Or you can also consider or conclude that the ship is partially seen and as it comes near to the shore it is fully seen. So this happens only when there is a curvature and the ship is moving along a curvature. So this also proves that the earth is spherical in shape. The next observation was observation of pole star. Pole star is always perpendicular to north pole. And when these pole star is observed from different location on the earth makes different angle. For example, it is 90 degree on the North Pole. As you move away from the pole, the observation of the pole star differs. For example, here it is 67.5 degrees and when you move further towards the equator, its angle crucially changes to 45 degrees. So likewise, as you move towards the equator, the angle becomes more crucial and crucial. So this also proves that the shape of the Earth is spherical. And the next one is lunar eclipse. See, when the earth is in between the sun and the moon, the earth casts its circular shadow on the moon. So this also proves that the shape of the earth is spherical. Arc shaped shadow of the earth is visible on the moon during lunar eclipse. The shadow on the moon casted is circular due to earth circular in shape.